Starting today, Rock Hill leaders could approve a new mask mandate, and they are responding to a growing number of COVID-19 cases across South Carolina. In fact, York County has the eighth highest total of any county in the state with 1,481 cases. Reporter Anthony Castora now joins us in Rock Hill this morning, and Anthony, the mayor there, seems to support the idea of requiring masks to keep people safe. That's right, Brittany. The mayor told us that even if this ordinance does not pass, he is still encouraging people to wear their masks. City leaders are expected to take this up at a special meeting this morning at 10 o'clock, and it all comes after York Hill, excuse me, after uh, York County rather, added nearly 200 new coronavirus cases just this weekend, and that is according to the DHEC. Now, if it passes, the ordinance would require residents to wear face masks in public within city limits starting on Friday. That includes grocery stores, government buildings, and public transit. The emergency measure would not last longer than 60 days, and Rock Hill would be the first city in York County to pass a requirement like this, although many of the state's larger cities have already implemented similar mandates. Right now, there are 342 cases within the Rock Hill zip code, and Mayor John Geddes told us last week he's in favor of a mask requirement if it means keeping businesses open and people safe. In March, we really struggled with whether to do shelter in place, whether to close. We saw a lot of restaurants and other businesses having to close down. We can't go through that again. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster said he would not enforce a statewide mandate. Instead, he is leaving it up to the local cities and towns. For instance, nearby Fort Mill says they would not be implementing a mask mandate. But again, leaders here in Rock Hill will be voting on this at 10 o'clock this morning, and we'll let you know what they decide. Absolutely. Brittany? We'll follow up with that outcome, Anthony. Thank you. And Florence, it has a mask mandate that's taking effect today. Our partners at WPDE say that public transportation officials in Florence will now require passengers to wear a mask. Some masks will be provided, but passengers are encouraged to bring their own.